Creating AI designs could be a great way for you to speed up your design process and really get a ton of sales on Etsy. But if you're not utilizing the right AI prompts to get you these type of results, you might be missing out on a huge opportunity to make sales on Etsy. So in today's video, I want to share with you several different Christmas prompts you can create for your Tumblr designs that you can start selling on Etsy and how you can get the best results for your designs. I want to share this all with you coming up next. All right, so here we are in Kittle, and one of the things we definitely want to do is to see if we can create some top trending Christmas elements we can start utilizing on our design. This is going to be extremely helpful because one of the main resources that we're going to use is Kittle AI to speed up the entire process. And this is great if you're not a graphic designer or don't have graphic design experience. It may be just challenging for you to find really great clip art to use. Definitely utilizing Kittle AI is going to be a game changer. And I want to share with you five different prompts that will be perfect for any product you sell for Christmas, whether it be a, a physical product or a digital product, I think these would do great for your Etsy business. All right, so here we are in, and the specific space that we have here is a space I use for my digital Tumblr wraps. I'll make sure I leave a link down below for you to get the proper size of this, but we definitely want to incorporate some AI designs into this space here. Now again, the process that I'm doing today could be used for any type of product, either be a physical product like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt, or even sell things in the digital category. We definitely want to focus on the specific seasonal type of elements, bringing in the Christmas theme to make our products stand out even more. And there are specific prompts that I use that really help my products sell well. And again, we're gonna be focused primarily on these digital Tumblr wraps we can start selling on our Etsy shop. Now, the place that we're gonna go for us to create these AI designs is over to the left-hand side here where we have Kittle's AI generator. And this is where we're going to put in several different prompts that we're gonna create all of our designs with here. We can click the turbo option, which will give you a fast result, but not the best result quality or the highest image quality for your design and we have the advanced option here where that's where i spend most of my time here because this is going to give me the highest quality design and it really bring also the opportunities to create text for our design to make it stand out even more so with that being said this is the box here where we're going to put in our prompt again i like to put in complex prompts because i'm able to get really fine tuned designs that are selling great for my etsy shop and we can go down here and select our aspect ratio because it's already set to the product that we're selling i'm going to leave this where it is and then you can actually upload your own design style if you want to find something that works well for you we can upload our image style so that the ai can follow what is visible and kittle has added their own image styles here so that when we do put it in our prompt we can focus on things that will bring out more of our design what i tend to focus on is the digital art style as well as the water clip art style and i'll share with you what both of those look like because even if you put in the same prompt simply by changing the art style or the image style that you have it can make your results come out extremely different now there are all type of things here that will help you sell well on etsy again you can play around with these and see what works well for you but i want to share with you a couple of results i gathered from some ai prompts that i think would do great especially for our case today digital time of wraps all right so one of the products we see to work well are these Highland Cow type Christmas themed digital Tumblr wraps that are selling extremely well on Etsy. We definitely want to create something along the lines that we have here because again, whatever we create needs to be tied to trending products, right? If we're creating anything with AI, it needs to be proven that it's selling well somewhere else before we re-engineer that into our own space. So we know Highland Cow and Christmas, anything is selling well. So we definitely want to create a prompt that's gonna help us best represent that in our design. So when I head back over in to kittle here i want to put in my complex prompt for my first design i actually have a membership where i share with you all these type of ai prompts that i create for kittle that you can utilize on your pro demand business or in our case today digital tumblr wraps and i just want to share with you how easy it is to plug in these prompts that i have created and then add them to your own design as well as adding in some great keywords for you to utilize as well as you can see here we 
have the Kittle AI prompt here already set to go, which we're going to add to our design now. And I even give you the opportunities to grab some great keywords that you can start utilizing on your Etsy shop. If you want to learn more about this membership that I created for you to get amazing results with Kittle, make sure you check out my link down below where I share with you all of my AI prompts you can start utilizing today for Kittle. So now we're back in Kittle. We're going to add in our complex prompt here. And here is my complex prompt that we created here where I said an adorable baby Highland cow in winter clothing holding a hot cocoa, Christmas village background, festive lights, snowy landscape, detailed fur text, cozy scarf hat with a warm, inviting atmosphere, holiday spirit, and definitely bringing some high quality and vibrant colors. Now, going down further, I just wanna share with you how the image would change based upon the art style that we utilize for our prompt. So I wanna start off first with the digital art style that we have, and I'm going to hit generate. And what Kiddo is going to do is that's gonna take our prompt that we have used and it's going to apply that specific art style, the digital art style to our design, and we're gonna get a result for our product. Now, this sometimes come with trial and error because we are definitely utilizing AI prompts with this. So we definitely want to do this multiple times to try out different clip art styles to see what we get. But we definitely want to focus on things that works well for others that we can incorporate into our design space. Now, being that we are selling this for a digital tumbler wrap, we're going to actually spread this out from one side to the next. But I think this already looks amazing for us to start selling on our Etsy shop for a digital tumbler wrap. And there's a lot here that we can add in some text to make it more personalized for the specific season. But I think everything looks great here for our design. Now, you can see the detail on these AI designs, and we can definitely utilize this even further if you want to try out a different art style. Now, again, we're not changing the prompt. We're going to keep it where it is. But if you do want to get a different art style, all we have to do here is change the style of our image. We had digital art, but now we're going to move over to clip art style. And I want you to see this design change and the results we get. So with that being said, I will hit generate the image. And as you can see, we're keeping the same type of prompt but we're adding in that unique watercolor style and we'll see what result we will get. All right, and as you can see, we have a different image that we had from the beginning here and I can move this over to the side so you can see this fully. But as you can see, the same type of prompt that we use for this product is the same one we have for this one here which I favor this one a little bit more better than what we have here in the middle. But again, this is all about utilizing some great complex prompts and finding the right type of art style for your product to look well. And I think the second one that we created here looks amazing and we can apply this to our Etsy shop, either sell this as a digital tumbler wrap or sell this as a full functioning physical product. We can sell to our customers as a tumbler as well. And here are some more designs that we created, again, utilizing that same prompt, but definitely getting some different results. And I think all of these looks amazing. And you can see all these really follow that style that we know to work extremely well on our Etsy shop. And as you can see, we create these very easily just by adding in that prompt. And this can easily be something we create and sell as a bundle product on our Etsy shop as well. So there's a lot here that we can utilize for the AI designs, especially in the Christmas season. All right, so now we're moving to our second design that I think we do extremely well this Christmas season, and it's definitely bringing in our style focus on a snowman. So we're going to head back over to our AI generator here. We're going to remove the prompt that we have, and we're going to plug in this complex prompt. I think would do extremely well for us, and I think this will generate a wonderful design for us when we're trying to create a snowman product. All right, so here is the design that we have here. I think this is great, especially if you are trying to add this to a different type of product, like a t-shirt. And remember, this is all created just with the AI tool from Kittle. If I head over to the top here, you can see this prompt is a little more simpler to create. It says cozy winter snowman illustration, Christmas light, festive hand-drawn style, winter fashion, casual comfort, cheerful design. And as you can see here, I think it nailed exactly what we focused on that we want to create for our product here and again if we do want to generate another style of image we can definitely go over to the digital art and see what it does as a result or just stay where we are with watercolor and generate a second image and it will give us an entirely different image than what we have here that we can start utilizing on our products as well 
and here is another example of the same prompt that we had here so this is the original prompt that we generated and here is the second prompt that we received as well and as you can see this is great especially if we're trying to sell this on a tumblr wrap we can move over to a christmas ornament or even use this as digital products we can start selling for those who are creating a christmas calendar there's so much we can do with these designs to help us sell well on etsy and start generating real income without necessarily having all this graphic design experience or trying to find clip arts that meet our demand we can simply go into kittle and create this ourselves and generate amazing designs for us to sell on our etsy shop now, another thing you can do with Kittle AI is just not create these amazing designs as we talked about today, but definitely go on a step further and create designs that's incorporated text. So this is what we're going to focus on for our next design here. We're going to follow that theme of having the snowman in place for our Christmas product, but we're going to add in a specific text. And as you can see here, our prompt says festive snowman, colorful, and we have our text jolly text christmas decorations candy cane snowflakes vibrant colors holiday spirit santa hat a wooden background and playful design and so when we do this we want to actually see what is the ai going to do with the text because for some ai tools it's very difficult for the text to actually come out but kittle has a great intuitive system where the text comes out in my opinion pretty amazing so with that being said we want to stick with our clip art style that we have here which is the watercolor style which again is one of my popular ones i pick i want to go ahead and hit generate and i want to see what things come up as a result all right so here is a result of what we received from our design as you can see here it brought in that word jolly very well it followed the colors that we talked about adding in some christmas themes and this again just not only brings in amazing art styles here but when we were able to create this outstanding text it really puts our products way above the rest of the competition here because we're utilizing some great ai tools that's bringing in amazing clip art as well as amazing font designs to our product as well so there's a lot here that we can add right say we don't want to add jolly we can go here and change the word here from jolly into something else and we can still follow the same type of theme and the same type of trend with our overall design but i think this text came out amazing now, Kittle also does a lot more text just than one word here, and it brings in a lot of different type of font styles as well with the AI tool. And so with our next prompt, we definitely want to focus on a Christmas theme, and we're actually going to pull this over from our design studio here. As you can see, this came out amazing, but more specifically, it brought in this Christmas theme with the text, but also the infused colors here that I think would do extremely well. And again, this is a part of my membership that I have as well for you to find these daily AI prompts. You can start utilizing yourself on Kittle. And again, this is all about creating amazing designs. And just like how I share here in my membership, all you have to do here is just simply copy the prompt that I have. This is again is a complex prompt for you to get amazing design results. And you're easily able to incorporate this into the Kittle prompt here if you need to get a similar result. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the prompt that we had for this design here. And now we're just gonna paste in the prompt we grabbed over from our membership site. And we're going to select the style we have here, which is the watercolor art style. And this is going to give us, again, not the same results, but definitely similar results of what we've seen in the membership photo that we can actually add to our design space. And here is the results that we received from putting in that complex prompt. And as you can see, that worked out extremely well here putting in the Merry Christmas at the bottom and we have the Christmas trees and different type of elements. This looks amazing. And let's just say for some reason, we want this to be a little bit different. We want to add in some pink in here to make it stand out even more. The great thing about these prompts is that all we have to do here is add in whatever specific attribute or style we want. So instead of us having the red and blue, maybe we want to focus on pink and blue and simply by changing one word of our design here, just putting in pink, we can see that we will get some different results coming up. You can see the results we have here is truly amazing. Again, all we did here was adding in one simple word, change the color and added the word pink here 
and this brought out this design to be amazing and this is the original that we had here bring in that traditional green and red but simply changing the color to pink allowed this design to be so different and so intriguing and can sell extremely well on etsy and again you can do this and sell these as bundled digital products to people who are ready to use these on their physical items there's a lot here that we can definitely sell and incorporate to make and come online with etsy now the last product i think you should create with your ai designs are these christmas letters that could be sold on these christmas ornaments as we can see here over 200 sales just in the past 30 days here in the lifetime total sales almost 4,000. and again this is not really bringing in a lot of different art styles that we can definitely incorporate with ai tools and so there is a lot of opportunities for us to create many more outstanding products utilizing ai tools to make our design stand out even more and again if you don't want to sell this as a physical item you can definitely sell this to different crafters as a digital product they can start selling on their shop and here are some example of some christmas letters i have created utilizing the ai prompt i'll share with you in a little bit here but as you can see this has created uh, amazing designs for people to use either on a coffee mug or maybe for a tumbler or in our case like we're talking about as our example was the christmas ornament this is not bad by any means because it made over 3,000 sales but once we're able to incorporate these different type of ai designs here you can see that this brings in a lot more details to what we're trying to create right we can create a a lot more designs utilizing these AI tools and still bringing in those specific letters that we know to do extremely well. And it's just not this type of theme here. We can even change the overall theme and put in a more contrasting letter here, as you can see, bringing in even more details to the letter itself, which I think is outstanding when we're trying to sell these type of products. All right, so for us to actually get those specific Christmas letters that we can start selling on our design, here's the prompt that allowed us to get that. And then we have the letter B dressed as a reindeer with the winter floor background with the rich blues, crisp bright whites, and shimmering silver gold, as well as jewel tone purple, pinks, and a deep emerald and again we put in the specific letter as that could change just by us removing the b and putting whatever we have and there was a lot of people who talked about just having that continuity in regards to letters all being the same type of style this is how you do that so we know exactly what to focus on in regards to details and changing out just one letter will help you stay in line with that detail because you don't have a broad prompt but with the colors with the styles with the design itself as we have here you're not going to have a lot of variations outside of what you already put for the details so you're going to have a lot more continuity in regards to design styles now again this could also change if we don't want to focus on a reindeer that too right the subject line can change for us to focus maybe on the snowman or santa hat or different type of things here for the christmas season in our case today we'll keep it where it is we're going to utilize the watercolor art style here as that again is one of my popular ones all right so here we have our design we have the letter b here and i'll bring this up a little bit closer i think this came out extremely well look at this amazing in regards to the design that we have here and again it's bringing in a lot more design styles than what we have seen here just with this letter like the letter c but say if we do want to branch out and make this into a letter c here it's super easy to have that continuity with our design because of our complex prompt and as you can see i think this came out extremely well and again this is how we're able to create tons of different AI designs for our Etsy business. And as you can see, we created all of these just in a very short time. And all of these really, if you think of these as pillars, right? This design here could be a lot of different variations going down here, creating maybe five, even 10 different variations. Same thing with here, our design too, could just be the top of our entire row of different design styles being done here. And that's where you're able to really create a lot of products in a short amount of time because what design styles work well what ai prompts to put in and you're able to create different variations in regards to the design space that we have so as you can see utilizing these ai design prompts is a great way for you to really focus on the christmas season and bring in amazing designs you can start selling on etsy now if you're new to selling on etsy and you're not sure how to get your shop up and running i have created a free etsy course that will share with you from start to finish how to get your etsy shop up and running for you to make your first sale online if you want to get access to that free course simply type in the comments starter 
and I'll make sure I send that free course over to you today. And check out this next video here where I share with you another top trending design you can start selling on Etsy. And subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about how to make income online. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.